Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jason Bravasa Productions, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick logo reveal inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion, coming up. The first thing that we need to do is add a fusion composition to the timeline. So we're gonna come over here, left click on this fusion composition, drag it into the edit timeline. And by default, your fusion compositions are five seconds long. So we're just gonna leave that at the same length. Left click on the fusion tab down here. We've got a media out here, drag that over to the right a little bit. Left click on a background here and drag that down into the space. Take the output of the background, connect that to the media out. And with background highlighted, come up here to color and left click on that. Take the color and go from black to white and hit OK. Now we have this nice white background to work with. Now if your logo doesn't work well with white, just use a different color. For this logo we're using, we're gonna actually use a black AMD logo. We're gonna use a white background. Come up here to the logo, left click and drag that onto the yellow line until the yellow line turns blue right here. Once it turns blue, just let go of your left click It'll create a merge over the top of your white background. So this media in is our AMD logo. I'm gonna right click on the AMD logo, hit rename. AMD logo is what I'll type into the rename tool. And then below this, we're gonna have AMD logo selected and hit transform, left click on transform. And what the transform lets you do is move that logo around within the space, however you feel like it. To reposition this, I come up to center, double left click on that, and it'll be dead center back into the screen. What I wanna do though, is I wanna reveal the logo. So I wanna have it come from a space and suddenly pop up. To do that, we use a mask. Click on merge, left click on that. Left click on rectangle to add a mask, and you can see when I added that mask, it actually cut off part of the logo. If I drag this, we can make that logo completely disappear or fully appear. We're gonna have it fully available to us right here and showing. I'm gonna click the top of this mask and drag it down and make it smaller. Come over to soft edge on the right side of the screen, left click and drag this out to about 1.89 or 0.2. That creates a soft edge so that when your logo appears and reappears, that it has a softness as it goes through that mask. It's on a hard edge. You can do it any way that you want. I just prefer a lot of times to work with that soft edge. Now I'm gonna take the transform and left click on that. And what I can do is go to frame 24 here with transform highlighted right there, come up and left click on keyframe. That's where we want our logo to actually end up is that space right there. I'm gonna though come back to keyframe position six and drag the logo off the screen. So I'm gonna take this and just left click and drag the logo right off the screen there. And you can see it vanishes, right, outside of that mask area. Now, if I just hit the space bar to play, we can see it animates on the screen and it pops through that mask. You can see the edge of the mask right here, nice and smooth. I want the animation, though, to be smoother than it is, so I'm gonna come up to Transform here with that highlighted, come up to Settings, left click on it, left click on Motion Blur, left click then on Spline, and this gives me a chance to smooth out the animation and make it not so rigid. I'm gonna left click on Transform, left click on zoom to fit, left click and drag to highlight the keyframes, then I'm gonna hit S to smooth. I'm gonna hold option on a Mac and left click and drag that out, just like that, make it smooth. And then it animates in really slick, it looks more professional. Anytime you can smooth out the animation like this, it just makes it look better. Now we wanna animate out the end of the logo. So what I'm gonna do is we have 120 frames in the composition. We come down to frame 114, and I'm gonna subtract 24 frames, which is one second. So let's left click on spline for just a second. We've got our transform here. Let's go down to frame number 90, that's minus 24 frames. Let's left click on controls. We're gonna left click then on this keyframe here that has the position. Come over to frame 114, and at frame 114, we're gonna animate this off the screen. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna drag this arrow and just left click and drag down until it's off the screen outside of that mask area. Remember, anytime the logo is inside the mask, you'll see it. Once it's outside of the mask, you will no longer see it. So we're gonna come back here to spline and left click. We have two new keyframes now at the end of our animation. Here's the two that we originally did that are smoothed out. Let's left click and drag on the two new ones. Hit S to smooth, hold down option and left click, and that will help you drag that keyframe out and that handle and that makes the animation out smooth. So we just let it play two times quick. It animates quickly on and smoothly onto the screen and then vanishes off. There you have it. Let's go back to the edit tab to watch the animation. 
And let's check out our full animation on the edit timeline, right? Animates in left to right and then disappears to the bottom. Nice, simple logo reveal inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. All right, so that wraps it up for our simple logo reveal inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this helpful and you learned something today, smash that like and subscribe button. It helps our channel grow. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.